Over the past four years, Sage Chapel Cemetery has gained increased local attention thanks to the dedication of several residents and family members of the deceased. During this time, the cemetery experienced renewed caretaking, a new sign, and even a soldier burial ceremony for Howard Morris, a deceased World War I vet. But for those of you who don't know, Sage Chapel is an African-American cemetery that was established back in 1881 by the African Methodist Episcopal Church. And over time, many of O'Fallon and St. Charles County's prominent African-American citizens were buried there. Sage Chapel has approximately 111 burials documented by either death certificates, obituaries, or oral tradition. There are 30 headstones and three other family marked graves. At least 20 of those buried at Sage Chapel were born as slaves. In the fall of last year, Cheryl Hibbler, Doris Keevan Frankie, and Justin Watkins traveled to Jefferson City and presented preliminary findings to add Sage Chapel Cemetery to the National Register of Historic Places. Then, in late November, Amber Cox with the State Historic Preservation Office notified Justin that the property may be eligible for nomination to the National Register of Historic Places. The National Register of Historic Sites is a national um, recognition that was um, began with the Preservation Act of 1966. And this is the listing for all eternity of all the important sites in our country. Well, the Sisters is definitely the only National Historic Site in O'Fallon, and that took place in 2007. It's been there a long time. It took to 2007 for that to happen. So the opportunity for Sage Chapel Cemetery to be the second National Historic Site in O'Fallon is major. Several steps need to occur before Sage Chapel can be nominated. What happens next is we turn this into the State Historic Preservation Office. This is a commission of appointed commission by the governor from people across the state that are interested in our state's preservation. They'll be given all the paperwork that we've turned in and they'll take a few months to review that. And then in May, hopefully, um, on their, at their next commission meeting, we will then have an opportunity, Justin Watkins and I, to actually go to the commission meeting and present all the reasons in a 10 minute span and explain why we're doing this. If Sage Chapel is chosen, the nomination heads up to Washington DC for approval. Along with this exciting news, O'Fallon's Historic Preservation Commission is seeking a grant for Sage Chapel from the National Trust for Historic Preservation. We made motion at the last commission meeting that the city pursue this, and I know that they're, at this point, the um, only first step is a letter of intent. Some of the things that we're looking for, I think are excellent for Sage Chapel Cemetery. And the interesting thing about this particular grant is it's only for African-American sites, buildings, history, anything to preserve African-American history. We are blessed with two people, with Doris and with Justin. Uh, we have a really nice group of people on our Historic Preservation Commission. We care about our history, we're interested in about it. But if we would have really understood how to do this, we would have done it three or four years ago. We don't know how to do it. You know, it's, it's not like, you know, filling out, you know, a couple pieces of paperwork, and getting a new social security number. It's huge. It's a major effort. We'll keep you up to date on all the progress over at Sage Chapel on future episodes of O'Fallon Matters. It's good to know that our community is so dedicated to preserving Sage Chapel, and it's important to O'Fallon that we embrace our past, even if it was forgotten over time. These are people that for many years have felt that perhaps they have gone unnoticed, and it really, really helps, I think, to feel that their, their voices are now being heard and their stories are being told. 